Hello YouTube, this is a tutorial by XDSJD, which is me, I'm JD, and if you don't know who I am, then forget it, just figure it out it's by watching my videos, I don't care, subscribe, go to my website, blog, whatever. Okay, but this tutorial is about Halo Custom Edition for the Halo green screen map and Sony Vegas, and if you don't have Sony Vegas and you know how to use the green screen feature in Adobe Premiere, feel free to use that, I don't care, whatever, you can use whatever. Anyway. To get started with this tutorial, first things you'll need is a game recorder. First game recorder is game cam, second, fraps, third, Xfire, which I use because it's free, and if you don't have any of those, get one now, and if you don't feel like paying, get Xfire. Okay, now that you have downloaded and installed a game camera, open Halo Custom Edition, or you can get extra programs like Sky's the Limit, or Dev Trainer. I prefer the ultimate Def Trainer for the Marines recording, but you can do whatever you want with your video. If you want to make a green screen map up like, or, uh, excuse me, green screen video like I did, um, with the gun in front of you, then just record you walking into the middle of nowhere in the map and where there's no vehicles, and just pretty much record there, put it in Sony Vegas, use the green screen effect. Add another video with a normal camera. If you don't have a normal camera, get one. I prefer JVC or anything like that. It doesn't matter. Anyway, just get a camera, record you walking around somewhere, use the effects, the uh, chroma key effect, and there you're done. That's all you need to do for that. But I will show you how to do that in a few minutes. Anyway, so let's get started on how to use a game camera. I prefer XFire, so that's the only one I'm going to show you because I do not have any other game cameras. Okay, so now I'm assuming that you've already started your game camera or XFire. Um, so now what you do is you go to Tools, Options, and once that's loaded up, uh, go to Video, and you can set either any actually any key you want I use right control V because it's easier than what they had for me because it's close enough to whatever anyway just set whatever you want there or just leave it how it was defaulted to and then start up Halo okay so now that Halo custom edition is open um First of all, you need to navigate to your green screen map. And it's loading, loading, still loading. Okay, so go ahead and navigate to your green screen map. And use whatever. I uh, just called mine Zelda 64 because I was playing earlier and I was playing as the Hyrule map, which I suggest you get. That's a great map if you don't have it already. And it's starting. Okay, so now that you've got the green screen map open, you can either record yourself in a vehicle, fly making it look like you're somewhere in the sky or something in real life and well pretty much what you do is oops what am I doing oh okay um just one second okay there we go and pretty much what you do is open up Xfire it'll pretty much tell you what to press to use the video uh the game camera, whatever. It, um, like I said, I use Control V, and if I use it now, it'll lag really badly. So I'm not gonna use it now. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. All I did was walk in the middle of nowhere like this, shooting around, tossing grenades like that, and so. This is pretty much all you have to do. Record it, save it to wherever, and then once you're done, you're done. And if you're wondering, um, I do have Halo Custom Edition windowed. If you're wondering how to do that, you just go to the shortcut, right click properties, and type in dash window. And that's all you gotta do. Kinda like this if you see this. 
Actually, I don't think it needs to be capitalized. But anyway, you know what I mean. So, now that's over with for this part of the tutorial. Okay, so now that you've got your clips and... Well, your second clip in here. The clip you recorded with your game camera or X-Fire. And the clip you recorded with your normal camera or you just got off of... of the internet or anywhere else okay so pretty much all you have to do from here is add the chroma key effect and that's pretty self-explanatory if you already used Sony Vegas before and if you've never used it well here's what you do you go to video effects you go to chroma key here and you choose green screen or pure green screen I don't really think it matters um, but anyway, I always just use the normal green screen because it works just fine. And as you can see, after I added that to the green screen clip, it did that to, well, it pretty much added that in front of the picture I added behind it. I just used pictures because I was too lazy, and not only too lazy, it's 3 a.m., and I'm not going outside right now just to record something for a tutorial and so here it is that's all you need to do you're done just save it ex export it render it whatever and yes I am using Sony Vegas 4.0 but it works just the same in any version I'm pretty sure and that's all I got for you now thank you for watching and see you later